And now let's go ahead to, and create the shade. So I'm going to go back to model and I'm going to click on create form again and I'm going to say OK. And now we're going to look at, so click on look at at the bottom, and we're going to look at that, uh, that circular uh, face at the end of your neck. And this will bring me looking at it dead on. And now we're going to go to create drop down cylinder, pick the, the face that you're looking at, and we're just going to select uh we're just going to select the center. Doesn't matter exactly where. It doesn't have to be perfectly as long as it's in the center. Uh I'll, that will be then you're good. So let's select the center. Let's give it a, a rough diameter and now let's start sculpting this shade. So essentially you'll do the same thing like you did with the neck. Um but now you're just going to make the shade. So Now that we're happy with our lampshade, let's give it let's give it some thickness. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the modify drop down and I'm going to click on the thicken tool. And I'm going to rotate this around and I'm going to pick the inside of this lamp. So I'm going to click on the inside and notice that the arrow manipulator will show up and I'm going to drag this arrow inward. So it's going to be at a negative value. I'm going to put negative 5 instead of negative 10 and I'm gonna click on OK. So now this lampshade has some thickness but I still need to uh, make this edge flush with the outer edge of the of the neck and there's a very easy way to do that as well. You can go back to the modify drop down and click on match. The match tool will essentially allow you to match edges uh, with each other. So the first option is to click on the T-spline edges. So I'm going to double click on this outer T-spline edge here, which will select the entire edge. And then I'm going to go to the dialog box, click on target edge, and I'm going to select my target edge, which is going to be this outer edge of the neck. And once you do that, you'll notice that the T-spline edge automatically snaps to the outer edge of the neck, making it completely flush to, um, to your neck model. Now I'm going to click on OK. And now, uh, pretty much, I have my neck and shade modeled. So I'm going to click on Finish Form to see the the whole model as a as a, in its entirety. And now we have a sculpted shade, sculpted neck, and a modeled base. Next thing to do is to create the cord. And uh, since this this model is a bit different from what you just saw in the gallery, uh, we're going to have the cord come out somewhere at the bottom of the neck. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the right view in the view cube. I'm going to click on sketch and I'm going to go down and select the spline tool. This will allow me to uh, select uh, to draw a spline curve that will essentially be the path of my cord. So I'm going to pick on this plane uh, that I'm looking at right now. So I'm going to click on it once and now uh, I can start drawing the, the spline. So I'm going to pick somewhere in the middle of this of this uh, the bottom and middle of the neck and I'm gonna just click on some areas of the plane that will give me kind of a swoopy cord feeling and now when you're done with it uh, hover over to the check mark and click on it and that will commit your spline uh, your spline curve now I'm gonna rotate around and see it in uh, 3d view Next thing I want to do is I want to give this spline some thickness. Uh, and one way to do that is to first uh, put a plane perpendicular to the spline. So I'm going to go to Construct, and I'm, and I'm going to click on the drop-down, and I'm going to choose Plane Along Path. So the path that I want is going to be the spline. And when I click on the spline, you'll see this plane with an arrow. You're going to want to drag that arrow all the way to the end. And then you're going to say OK. Now what you want to do is you want to be able to draw on this plane uh, a circle, but also use that end point as the center point. To do that, you're going to go to Sketch. And then you're going to say 
and then you're going to go to project and include include 3d geometry so you're going to click on that option and then you're going to click on the plane that you just created and then you're going to click on that endpoint and notice when you click on that endpoint it turns red which means now it is selected you're going to go back to the sketch drop down and you're going to go to circle and create on center diameter circle now when you hover over this uh, endpoint it's going to snap to it so now you can use this endpoint as a center point and then sketch your circle so let's make this circle let's just say 30 millimeters and uh, and now you can stop sketch so now you have your circle at the end of your spline and now you can add some thickness and to do that go back to the create drop down and select the sweep command this will essentially allow you to pick the profile you like to sweep and as well as the path you like to sweep along so the profile is going to be the circle and the path is going to be the, the spline and notice now you have a, uh, a sweeped a swept <laughs> um, circle along that path but right now it's set to cut and we don't want it to cut we want it we want it as a new body so go to operation and select new body as uh, the operation and click OK and now we have our cord now the next thing I, w I like to do is to actually um, cut an opening uh, with this cord body uh, in the neck and to do that you can go to modify and choose the combine tool and this will allow you to choose the target body which is the neck and then the tool body which is the cord and instead of join as the operation we're gonna select cut and then we're gonna also select keep tools because you do also still want that cord body let me say OK and now if I hide my cord body you can see that the neck has a, uh, a hole that's cut by the cord